Yes, guys, and welcome back. Yes, we have a night ticket for Silver End. Let's go and fish it for 48 hours for our first night session. Let's go. Yes, Carpers, we are finally on here. We finally got our night ticket and we are finally fishing. Um, absolutely buzzing to get down here and fish it properly. Um, don't forget, guys, to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button while you're there, and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. But yes, guys, uh, last time we fished it for the day, we fished it at that next peg up. Uh, we're now in this peg. I'm not sure what it's called. I think it's called Lumpies. But yeah, I had a little lead about. I mean, I've got a little bit of inside knowledge from Luke. Uh, 12 and a half wraps out. Um, 12 wraps is um, a bar. Um, 12 and a half wraps is just just past the bar. is a little bit of a a little bit of a soft stuff silt or something. But we uh, had a little lead about. Um, yeah, bang on. Well done, Luke. Um, found that soft spot. 12 and a half wraps. Uh, decided to spot a bit of bait out there. Um, not a lot. Just been used in a little midi spawn. Uh, probably about you can't really fit a lot in there to be honest and um, just as well I did bring that one so I forgot my big one but yeah probably about 10 maybe but just going to fish uh, a little wafter over over one rod and then I'm going to fish a bag over the other rod but yeah I've got some little visitors at the minute there we go and a little baby there look <laughs> but yes guys I'm going to have a little slow um, a little slow setup and uh, watch the water and uh, I'll get back to you soon well carpers base camp is set up and all tidied up look at that water guys that is absolutely stunning keys are over there he's just had one um, looked a fairly decent size not sure on the size but they was all taking pictures and he had a water shot so I'll take it was a, a decent fish but yes guys, that right hand one has literally just gone out on a solid bag. Um, it's, it's literally one that I had left over from a coking farm. Um, if you haven't seen them, that two part series guys, then head on over there and have a look. Um, absolutely wicked time that was, wicked five days and we had a hell of a load of fish out. Uh, but yes guys, I'm not sure what that's gone out on because it was a solid bag that I had left over from coking farm as I just said. So it could be a pink, it could be a yellow, or it could be a live system who knows if we catch a fish on it then we'll know but yeah i'll literally just chuck that out for now stick stuck a little bit of scopex squid out with it sorry scopex cream goo and that left hand rod um literally spotted out some sorry i just can't get enough of this water it's lovely uh, literally yeah just spotted out some um, live system basically what I used before it was the live system maze crushed live system uh, the live system booster basically all live system so um, so yeah spotted that out over two rods and that left hand rod has literally just gone out on a German rig uh, with a live system wafter topped with a bit of maize because obviously I'm putting well topped off with a bit of corn should I say because obviously I'm putting maize out there uh, but yes guys, um, if I do land any fish, the waders have got to go on straight away because let me take you out here. As you can see, well as you can see it's another glorious sunny day, it's absolutely boiling. But yeah, as you can see, you know, it goes right out probably till about here and then it drops off. So any fish that get caught have literally got to chuck the waders on and walk out in there which isn't the problem I've got waders all there ready to go um, but yeah let's go and see how my uh, oh there they are my old little visitors look 
<laughs> this guy's absolutely buzzing to get down here. Um, it's been on my radar for a while. Um, they've got a load of uh, waters on the Kelverdon complex, but this is the one that stands out for me. Yes, guys, I'm gonna get in the bivvy and I'm gonna get my little tracker fan out because I'm glad I bought that because it's absolutely boiling. It is nice when the uh, the wind's on you. But yes, guys, if you haven't seen my track up fan review, go and give it a look, guys. Um, I've not only reviewed it, but I've tested it as well. Uh, I've done a full power test to see how long it lasts and everything. So if you're intrigued to know, um, yeah, go and have a look, guys. Well, I'm going to sign off, watch the water, cool down, have some food. I've got to start he eating healthy now, so done away with the sausages and bacon and all that lot and I've gone with the fruit we've got some bananas we've got some pasta salads we've got some other little bits just to try and start eating healthy anyway oh I've got to go guys see you in a bit yes guys welcome back and sorry I had to run off uh, quickly that last little session but a friend that I've come fishing with is also this is his first time fishing it um, literally just had this fish 28 pound caught on um, manila pop-up about eight wraps out lovely little fish first one of silver end many more to come absolutely well done to him um, literally rods have only been out like 20 minutes half hour so it's absolutely looking good uh, well done to him what a stunning 28 pound common that was but things looking good guys, uh, over the road they've just had one, Curtis has just had one and hopefully we can bag one, uh, see you soon. Well carpers, literally just had my first run on my left hand rod, struck into it, got the waders on, went out into the shallow water, netted it, unfortunately it was a snotty brain, so literally straight back in the water. <sighs> right carpers, evening update. Um, time for a change up I think because that left arm rod um, yeah this is the rig that I've been putting out I don't see that guys I've literally had two bream on that now and I do not want to be getting breamed out so on one rod I've decided to go on a hinge stiff rig if you can see that on there we've got a Sitnash Citrus Cultured Hook Bait uh, so that's going to sit lovely in the water and on this one I think I might do a little snowman I think I'm going to stick to a live system wafter uh, well obviously a live system uh, bottom bait uh, I'm going to put I don't know little bit of colour with it. Uh, probably probably go for the old ISO cream like I did over at Chigbra. That seemed to um, get rid of the old uh, the old bream. So I'm going to get these out. I've literally just spotted out um, um, some bait on the spots. Um, I was actually going to reel both rods in and redo them so um, yeah, yeah that, that bream hasn't done me no hardship really. But it's just, uh, it's just made me think that my spots are good, my baits are good. It's just, yeah, the bream are there. So it might be that bit of yellow on top. I'm going to change that bit of yellow because I think that's what the bream might be homing in on. Anyway, guys, I'll see you soon. Well, carpers, we had that little recast. And my little, uh, my little change in tactics has paid off. I literally took the uh, yellow bit of corn off and basically put a little uh, pink iso cream pop up on and uh, yeah it's not the biggest in the lake but it's probably one of the prettiest lively lets me get it up look at that carvers 19 pound bang on and what a way to open up my little account of the old silver end. This nice fully scaled mirror. Absolutely buzzing. Can't wait to get some more of these jams out. Yes guys, what a first fish that is. Lovely little 19 pound fully scaled. And my first fish out of silver end. 
um, it definitely paid off to take that corn off and uh, put a little pink pop-up on and this this is basically what it is literally pink iso cream life system boily yeah on the old german style rig i'm gonna get this back out and get some food on see you in a bit good morning carpers well no fish to be had um, we had that little 19 pound fully last yesterday evening didn't we but we've had nothing else since uh, no bleeps on the rods or nothing um, as you can see the old weather has uh, changed today um, still a bit windy but there's no sun uh, it's quite quite chilly but the water is really really warm I did actually uh, put my hand in it this morning and um, yeah it's actually reasonably warm um, five of us on the lake uh, I don't think Curtis has had anything else because um, he's not come and got me uh, but yesterday um, out towards them little um, there's, there's a building site uh, just above that hill uh, where that um, that cement thing is uh, I did see a nice fish roll uh, but I literally just recast that rod so I weren't going to reel it in and put a, a spot, spot on its head but what I'm going to do today is I'm going to spot some bait out into the area and put a rod out there ready for this evening uh, where I see it jump but that left hand rod um, it's gonna it's gonna stay where it is I mean we've had two bream and one carp on it so gotta go gotta run well carpers that didn't take long did it after that little uh, morning intro it's the same rod that left hand rod has rattled off again um, actually put up a good a good account for itself but, uh, this is my Oh, still a bit lively. See, it's been crapping out on my uh, live system. But yeah, 22 pound mirror. Flip, let me get it up. Yeah, this is my second fish from Silver End. Absolutely buzzing with this session already. I mean, if I could have come in and just caught one or even got a run, I'd, I'd been over the moon. But come here and catch two in less than 24 hours we're absolutely buzzing i'm going to get this baby back and get some more hopefully hello carpers well both rods have gone back out now after catching that 22 pounder this morning uh literally both gone out on literally same as uh, same as that left hand rod that's been doing the do uh live system uh boily top with a pink pop-up snowman style on a german rig um, put some bait out on both um, I might be running out of spod mix um, didn't really bring a lot because I didn't really think that I'd be using a lot but yeah um, I'll, I'll know for next time won't I to uh, build make a big old batch but anyway guys the old two carp was over there on that um, bank uh, packing away and going and two more I've literally just turned up um, not sure where they're fishing but anyway, I'll keep you posted guys and I'll see you soon. Well guys, literally that rod's been in about 20 minutes after that recast and that same rod has gone off again. Lovely, lively, 25 and a half pound mirror. And what a, what a start to this session we're having. Three fish in less than 24 hours, and they just keep getting bigger and bigger. Let's hope for that 30. A little horse just chilling, sunbathing. <laughs> well, guys, what a session this is turning out to be. Absolutely unreal. Didn't think we would. I was. I'm blown away to be honest. Um, I know we've not had nothing big, but it's a new water to me. Um, first time fishing it properly. And we've had three fish within 24 hours, not even 24 hours. Um, absolutely blown away. Um, hopefully, hopefully the next 24 hours are as productive and uh, we can bag a 30. Um, they seem to be getting bigger. What we had 19 pound, 22 pound, and a 25 and a half pounds. Hopefully just hopefully we can get into the bigger ones but i'd just like to say guys i was supposed to be doing 
a little Parker Baits review. They sent me some bait and that through. Uh, made up some spod mix, got all the bait prepared, and I didn't bring the bucket with me. I left it at home, so sorry guys, um, you'll have to wait till next time. But um, yeah, we'll be doing that next time, and that is literally the, the new Parker Bait stuff that's come out, the flat spot, uh, their hook bait wafters. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately I have to use that next time. Um, but yeah, peace out, I'll see you soon. Carpers, same rod roars off again. This time it's a bit smaller, but it's put up the biggest fight so far. Actually, felt a lot bigger. Oh, there we go. Lovely 23 pound mirror. I just want to catch a common now. It's in one nice common. Curtis caught a lovely common. I just want to catch one myself now. But I'm more than happy with this session so far. Well, carpers, four fish now, all off that same spot. Um, absolutely buzzing with this session. Um, looks like someone else has just turned up over there. But um, yeah, gonna hold fire on the old spot mix because I'm uh, gonna leave it another couple of hours and I'm gonna put some more bait out because I probably, every time I catch a fish, I like to put, well, it's, it's working for me to put another couple of spots over the top. So I'm gonna give it another couple of hours on this, put some bait out. And then every time I catch a fish, just uh, stick another couple of spots out. All right, I'll see you again with the next fish. Well, carpers, evening time now. Well, about half four. Um, a few more people have turned up. I mean, it's a Friday now, so I presume it's gonna get a bit busier. Um, I reckon it gets quite packed here on the weekend. Um, nothing for the last four hours it's been quite dead to be honest but um, I'm gonna have a little recast in probably about an hour's time um, gonna put a bit more bait out we're gonna save like a couple of spoms for each rod but I've probably got only got five or six spoms worth of spod mix left anyway but yes guys fingers crossed for tonight well this evening time hopefully this evening we'll have one and hopefully we wake up in the morning to one but um, I will keep you posted I'll see you soon Ah, that's all the rods refreshed. Um, all spotted out. Um, literally out of all spot mix now. Um, if I catch some fish, then they're gonna have to be going out on singles. But yeah, uh, time for a lay down, I think. Have a little half hour lay down. And then I'm gonna make some food. We'll see you in a bit. Good morning, carpers. Well, what a totally different 24 hours that was. Um, yeah, that first 24 hours, four fish, bang. The next 24 hours, nothing. Uh, not even a bait. Uh, but I'm more than happy to walk away from this session with four fish. Uh, smallest 19 pound, biggest 25 and a half pound. Absolutely buzzing with that. Still got about an hour's left. I'm having a slow setup. Uh, slow setup, having a slow pack down because yeah, I've got to get home early, take my daughter horse riding. So, hopefully, we're going to bag another one before we go because I think this sort of time yesterday morning uh, that left hand rod rolled off. But I think the problem is that first day I've got here, I was uh, spotting quite regularly over only that midi spot, not the large spot. Um, yeah, spotting bait over that left hand rod consistently probably like every three four hours so there was constantly bait going in but as i run out i've not really been putting much in as, as i said in uh, yesterday in my um last little clips 
But yeah, I think that's I think that's the key in this place. I'm definitely gonna be doing that next time. Keep keep the bait sp um, spotted in, keep keep it going in, uh, keep ringing that dinner bell because it seems to work. Um, but yes guys, um, I'll, I'll see you soon. Um, hopefully with another fish, if not, I'll see you in the car park, all packed up. See you in a bit. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Hit that bell icon if you don't miss any future videos. Well, carpers, what an amazing first session on here we've had. Um, although the first hour, first 24 hours wasn't like the second 24 hours, I'll take that. Um, to be fair, I was looking at a blank when I was coming down here. Um, I wasn't expecting to catch anything, but yeah, four fish, absolutely buzzing. Um, not sure where I'm going to go next time, but don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos, and I'll see you in two weeks.